I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at checking the indoor humidity on the Nest Learning Thermostat. So it's very simple to do this. I just take from the home screen here, and I press in on the thermostat, and you can see it brings up the info here. So it's 61 degrees outside. Um, it gives me the indoor temperature in my house, which is 71, and then this little metric here with the raindrop next to it is the humidity. Um, so right now I'm at 52%. That's a pretty good level to be at for indoor humidity. Um, usually I think it's best to stay between about 30% and about 60%. Now depending on the climate that you're in, this number can really impact how comfortable your house feels. So if you're in a, um, a very dry climate, like for example, the Northeast United States in the winter, then you could see that number drop all the way down to you know 20% or lower. And then it can start to feel really kind of dry in the house. It's bad for skin. Um, you know, things can start to, wood can start to dry out. It can be hard to, uh, to get doors to lock and that kind of thing. So that can get to be too dry. Um, conversely, if you live in a place like Florida, for example, um, or another muggy climate like Washington DC in the summer, then that humidity might creep uh, up a lot higher and that's gonna make it feel hotter in the house. Um, it'll feel kind of muggy and, and gross even if the temperature is within a reasonable range. So again, you really wanna keep that humidity if you can between maybe about 30% and 60% I find is a good range. So there's a couple of things you can do in order to do that. Um, if you find that the humidity is getting too low, obviously you could buy a humidifier and put that in your house um, and uh, you know start to bring the humidity up into that more normal range. Um, also, if the humidity is too high, if you have a whole house dehumidifier, that would be obviously the time to run it or you can get a standalone dehumidifier to place in the room uh, with the Nest thermostat or in a bedroom or something like that. Um, you do have one more option with Nest. I don't think you can do it on the thermostat itself as far as I can tell, but if you go into the Nest app, there's a function where you can actually use the air conditioning to, cool, to not only cool the house, but also to dehumidify the house. Um, and so if you go into the Nest app, you can find that setting, I think it's called cool to dry. Um, and it actually will run your, your AC, which um, pulls moisture out of the air when it runs, even if the house is not too hot, just to bring that humidity level down. Um, and that can get the house into a more manageable um, kind of state. And also it's um, a, you know, more of a, I think a health thing. So some people are sensitive to mildew and, and mold. And if the humidity gets too high, then that encourages those things to grow. So you can use that function in the Nest app to use your AC to actually bring the humidity down um, and keep it within a normal level, hopefully minimize the growth of mildew and other allergens. The only issue with that is that because you're running the AC more and using it like a giant dehumidifier, it's gonna end up probably costing you more on your power bill. And it also may make the house colder than you expected it to be. Um, but it is a good way, it's kind of an extra feature that Nest offers to bring down the humidity level. Again, if you're very sensitive to mold or mildew or if you're living in a very humid climate and you wanna get that level back down. Um, so that's looking at the humidity in your house using the Nest Learning Thermostat. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, then please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.